So today we're going to talk about Entamoeba histolytica. So this is an anaerobic parasitic protozoan part of the genus group Entamoeba. It is the third leading parasitic cause of mortality after malaria and schistosomiasis. So there are three forms of E. histolytica. We have the trophozoic form. We have the pre-cystic form. And we have the cystic form. So the trophozoic form is also known as the feeding stage of the parasite. So you'll find two types of trophozoids. You'll find two types of um, forms. You're going to find the minutiform. And you're going to find a magna form. So the minuta form here is generally smaller in size, about 15 to 20 micrometers. So as I'm sure you all know, we have in that intermeba histolytica um, comes, um, can react in two ways. It can either be non-invasive or invasive. So generally, the minuta form is found in a non-invasive type of of um, Entamoeba histolytica. This means that the minute form of Entamoeba histolytica occurs free in the lumen of the large intestine as a commensal, which means it's feeding off the host and the host is not benefit benefiting in any way. So if you look at this image here, this would be the minuta form, whereas this is the magna form. So the magna form here usually is found or occurs um, in the invasive invasive stage of intimeba histolytica. So as you all know, during the invasive stage, the trophozoid enters the bloodstream and can phagocytose erythrocytes or blood or red blood cells. So the trophozoids from acute dysentric stools will often contain phagocytose erythrocytes and it's called magniform. So if you look into this red blood into this um cell here of um the trophozoid the magniform you can see Red blood cells have been ingested by or phagocytosed by the um, trophozoid, and this is very diag this is a diagnostic feature um, of Intamoeba histolytica because red cells are not found in any other commensal intestinal amoeba. Also, one point to add about the trophozoid: it divides by binary fission once in about eight hours. So some trophozoids undergo encystment in the large intestinal lumen, and this occurs during the non-invasive infection of Entamoeba histolytica. So encystment does not occur in tissues nor in feces outside the body, but rather inside the body, as I've just mentioned. So encystment is basically the production of new cysts um, from the parasite. So before encystment, before new cysts are formed, the trophozoid will extrude or force out its food vacuole and becomes round or ovoid um, to the size of about um, 10 to 20 micrometers. And then one notable thing about the pre-cystic stage is it secretes a highly refractable, highly refractile, sorry, cyst wall around it and becomes the cyst.
So the cyst is spherical, and if you remember, during the pre-cystic stage, the trophozoid becomes um, round to the size of about 10 to, micro, 10 to 20 micrometers in size, which means that during the cystic stage, the cyst is also spherical in shape and is generally around the size of 10 to 20 um, micrometers. So as you can see in this image here, this here is the early cyst or the immature cyst and this here is the mature cyst. So the early cyst contains a single nucleus and two other structures. It's in a mass of glycogen and contains one to four chromatoid bodies or comedial bars. So then if you look in the mature cyst, you find that the glycogen mass and comedial bars disappear and the nucleus undergoes two successive mitotic divisions to form two and then four nuclei. So the mature cyst is always quadrinucleate.